Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Alex back with part seven of Alan Wake 2. Let's get into it. Last episode, we found out that we were Alice's nightmare, but there's actually Mr. Scratch, our body double, who's evil. And there's so much going on that it's, it's hard, to, hard to keep track of sometimes, but we're going to do our best. I still think that this Alan Wake okay. is actually Mr. Scratch. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Alan. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time it this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded, and that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place. Make all this shit go away. I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's, it's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. The animation in these cutscenes is unreal. I still don't like they drink at the same time. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. He really kept up on his brushing while he was in the dark place. His teeth are immaculate. Thirteen years of living in a shadow world filled with demons that want to kill you. And he brushed his teeth insane. twice, three times a day. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? A cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Let's get into the mind palace here. 
the profile a bit. Has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. He's read the story. Like he's hiding pages. He's read the story so he knows. knows the cult has the clicker. Interesting. Okay. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath, where is my face? The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Hold on. I want to go back. I want to go to the case board. I feel like I picked up clues, right? Yeah, we picked up the story. Let's start putting Wake things up here. Gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Well, if we find that, isn't it just over? All right, where is it? The cult has the clicker. So let's throw that up there. Cool. And what else did we pick up? Um, this is what we're looking at right now, right? The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Oh, it's a strange doll, my bad. I still don't know what to do about these nursery rhyme things, but we're just going to keep on top of it. What else do we have here? Do we have two versions of the story that we're looking at? No, it's what? I'm confused. Okay. Oh, this is a ton. All right. How does the story change reality and what are the rules around it and the dark place in general? Bless me. All right, so the overlap, that's where I went to fight the dude. And you enter by putting the heart in there. Uh, story changes reality bit by bit. The process is gradual. That'll go there. Fiction coming into contact with the dark place has the power to change reality. That'll also go there. How to stop the story. We need to get the clicker. If we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. So we have until Deerfest. And he knows this because he has... He has pages that we have not seen yet telling him what happens. The Dark Presence. Sorry, there's a ton of clues we're throwing up here. Flashlight seems to weaken the Taken. Okay. Yeah. In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. Wants to turn around the world into a fucking nightmare. The world's already a fucking nightmare, let me tell you. Wake, Scratch, and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. And then this last one's for later. We don't have what we need for it yet. Okay. I'm glad we got all that up here. It just kind of maps things out. I think I have most of this down in the old noggin, but I'm glad we got it up there. Let's continue talking to Mr. Okay. Wake. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. 
Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Toss them in the trash. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Yep. It's about white. Um, all right. And that's the trail of the cult, which was going to take us to Watery. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Okay. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Oh. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's story via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. I wonder if I can go all the way to the end of the game in one of them and then go back and do it all on the, on the other side. I want to play Saga's story, at least for a little bit. But is this where I would change? Is this the janitor's clause that they're talking about? Is this where I would change? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's how I would go to Wake's story. Okay. I don't want to do that right now. I do want to play as Saga for a little bit. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. I mean, this obviously goes in profile. No, no, it's not. it's a clue for. Oh, writing part of the ritual. The cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. So what's the cult's goal, right? Cult goal. Yeah. And that's all we got. Cool. I just want to keep our case boards as, as up to date as possible. That way, if we go to look at them, Hi, welcome. we got the right stuff showing. Okay. Past favorite Deer Fest quote. Go. A yarn puppet monstrosity. Uh, so um, you know what? I've picked up a couple uh, manuscript things. I just want to check if there's any upgrades I can make to, to guns yet. I don't think so. I think they all, yeah, they require a lot of scraps. I've only gotten three so far. I wonder if I'm supposed oh, to be finding more than I am. That's our car. So we're going to head to Watery. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page. I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. And they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. Did that seem weird when he said they're taking their time on the backup? He said it in a really hey, weird way. Me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. Did anyone else catch that? I should ask around. I'm gonna look around. 
That's how you find the. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Well, the flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. Hey, ma'am. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hello, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Sounds good, ma'am. Kind of seems like they're just kind of making me go in here to get anything done. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. All right, ma'am. Is it because I'm black? Okay, then. Catch you soon. I mean, I feel like none of this is important to me, but... Oh, don't be copyrighted music, please. Oh, wait, Tom the Poet. A film by Thomas Zane. That, that poster, not the same poster, but a, a poster like that was in... Uh, was in um, Alan Wake American Nightmare. It was part of how you get the... Uh, Ooh, and I can pull stuff back out of the shoebox here. That's actually kind of cool. Nah. We'll, we'll pull that out later on. I didn't even realize there were charms. When did I go get those charms? Hello, ma'am? Excuse me. Do you feel like I'm in the middle of the show? I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. All right, Gary Busey, you got some lungs. I'll give it to you. I guess I'm not supposed to talk to people in here because I'm not sitting around waiting for that. Um, who else can I speak to? Hello, sir. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. What do we know him from? Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important to In the me. bus. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you guys have the same man? What, is it because I'm black? Racism in small town America. Who would have thought of it? You're making quite the racket, sir. Can I speak to you for a moment? What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Hello, sir. I'd like to talk to you about holes and boats. Okay. You don't want to talk to me either. Got it. Ooh. Yeah, let's just steal someone's ammo right out of their cooler. Sounds like a great plan. Oh, let's just steal more ammo. This is probably this guy's ammo. I mean, he's complaining about holes in his boat. Why would he want ammo? He'll just shoot more holes in the boat, you know? Ooh, can I go in the house? I cannot go in the house. That makes sense. It's not my house. Hello, suave man. Standing there drinking his coffee. Would you like to speak to me? What, is it because I'm a woman? 
Ugh, misogyny in small town America. Who would have thought it? I'm truly lost on who they need me to speak to. I feel like I'm... Oh, you're a mysterious lady. Just chilling over here by some rusty barrels? Oh, come on. You gotta have something for me, ma'am. Yeah, nothing back here. Alright, hold on. Let me go... Uh, I feel like I picked up clues for one of the cases. Trailer park. Trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. And something more about the story for later. Can't use it yet. Okay. I need to find Ilmor Kaskela. Right. And where is the trailer park at in reference to all of this? Over here. Okay, not that far away. There's an investigation up here to the left. Can I investigate? A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? All right. The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Yeah, that's fair. As someone who's used hey, crutches, a sauna doesn't fit they are good weapons, yeah. though. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Hello, overweight gentleman. Can we speak? Okay, I guess not. What, is it because I have clothes on? Have you heard old Pat Shit isn't in small town America. Who would have thought it? I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. This is really dark. I don't care to listen to pointless jabber. Not on the radio. What is that? Oh, shotgun ammo. I still have to get the shotgun from... Uh... Hot. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there for us. Um, I thought there was a dot. Well, we picked up a little ammo. Whoa, Not the worst sure detour nice in the world. Nice That's not my car, right? Yeah, okay. All right, was there anything else over here we could go kind of do? Where our car is, point of interest, break room, shoebox. So... We, I, we still got to go in here, but we had to wait for that dude to finish his song. I wonder if he's done now. Go in. If he's still going, I got to give him props on the lungs at the very least. Good for you, dude. Hello, sir. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for... Mayor Evan. Setter will stand up for, for justice. I know I should head to the trailer park. I really feel like I want to just make sure I've looked around everywhere. I really want to find the pay the, the fragments so that I can upgrade my stuff. Hello, sir. Not bad. How's it going with you? Okay, I guess I can't speak to you. All right. I bet they have good fish here. Let's find out. Ooh. Yeah, no, I did. I that obviously was not the right one. I just clicked on it. Ah, uh, yes. Let's steal a flare. Mm. 
get some quick slots going on here. Actually, those should be swapped. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. So if I want to... Okay. All right, I think we're just off to the trailer park at this point then. I, 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 there's a point of interest in here. I just can't figure out what it is because this guy hasn't stopped singing for the last 20 hours. Oh, maybe it's in here. I'm just dumb. More painkillers. Okay. Point of interest is out here. Maybe it's you? I'm a cop. I will shoot you. Stop singing. So what is the point of interest in here? gotta stop singing. You're done. Time's up. Alright, I'm past caring about whatever this point of interest is, because it's obviously not uh, making itself known, it's none of the people, it's, it's nothing. Let's make our way over to the trailer park, which we just have to go down this road. We can't get over the bridge, so we've got to go all the way up and around, it looks like. That seems excessive. But this is where our objective is over here. I feel like we're definitely missing something. It's just like, he won't stop singing, so what am I supposed to do? Hey, Saga! Oh, over there you here. are. What's up, Ilmo? Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. I was wondering about that. I thought I missed something earlier on about her like originally being from here. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deer Fest. Don't go peeking, though. You know, we're saving the big reveal for DFS. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both They're entertain an and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, 
Check them all out. Have I profiled every subject? I was just about to come back in here. I noticed we picked up some new uh, things. All right. Well, these guys, I guess. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or is that a cover? Or does he? Mm, we're on the same wavelength here, Saga. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yakor, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. I was really curious about that because someone else really made a reference to me being what here for a while too. Love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. I think that's a clue for the case board as well, right? Ilmo is certain that I used to live here, that I owned a trailer here, that I am a member of the community. Okay. Yeah. That other guy who drives the old home, old nursing home bus also thought I was around us. an old friend. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Elmo, own the trailer park where I supposedly lived, calls me his funniest resident. I think that's fake. Because I didn't live here, right? Rose recognized me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan died. Huh. Interesting. Wait, so, yeah. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Alright, well, um, but there's also a piece of evidence we just got up the trailer park. The Coscalis think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? It's crazy that they acknowledge the spare key is a coffee world. First the witch is at the dump. There's coffee world. Need to get across the river. It's crazy that they acknowledge that Alan Wake's story is true and that all this weird, unexplainable supernatural stuff is happening. But then he's like, I need to come with you. It's too dangerous. And they're like, hold on a minute. Too dangerous for us? I don't know about that. Like, you have no idea what any of this is. He is part of this world and he's offering his help so you don't die. And you're just telling him no? does not make sense also we're going to explore every inch of this area before we move on to coffee world um that is just how i played what was that yeah my thought exactly ma'am that's just how i, I play the game Fuck! Ex Speedy little boy. Oh, not the speedy boys again. Not the speedy boys again. I can't do it. I hate the speedy. Oh, I've missed. There goes my Valorant career. I really hope it's not 
actual speedy boys that I have to like really keep up with. That was probably my least favorite part of Alan Wake 1. There was a lot of ammo I had to use on them. Or the story. Or both. Alright, hold on. Which way do we want to go here? Uh, I want to I wanna hang a hard right. I want to go check down in whatever this is. More beer bottles. These cultists sure do like their alcohol. I heard you. I don't think I didn't hear you throw that can. I'm going to get you on littering, young man. Ooh, another another nursery rhyme puzzle thing that There's I don't understand. A moose doll and a deer doll. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the forest with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Okay, so I have a deer and a moose. Both of them have a crown. They run through the forest. So let's put the moose here in the forest. Ooh, I got something. Something feels different. I should look around. Is this new? One. In here. Look around, like how far look around though. That's one. Oh wait, that's not a that's not a thing. That's the ring in the binder. Made me think that was like a circle that I could interact with. Um, did I just pick up all the chalk? What changed then? What I need to look around for. I don't know if that one was there to begin with, which I'm, I'm upset about. Because I don't know if that's what changed. But now I also can't place other things here. Alright, well let's look around over this way, I guess. I don't I don't know. Okay, that's a moose. Oh, that's what changed. Yeah. Jesus. Charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan Oops. made for me. Saves you from death, but shatters huh. in the process. Yeah, let's equip it. That sure. Was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. We're gonna go back and do um do the other rhymes then, because I think I I think I understand the concept now that I can. I can do the other ones, maybe. Because it gives me two things. It gives me a rhyme, and I have to put the right doll on the right spot. I just, I didn't realize that's what it was having, or requesting of me. Alright, so there's something up there that I can go get. I have to remember I'm also kind of low on ammo. So hopefully I find ammo soon. Manuscript. Watery. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was needed more than ever. It never quite recovered from the, the lumber 
mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sissy. The Kalevala. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally, but it wouldn't be enough. The end of the road was in sight, and it wasn't coming. I want to read these myself instead of listening to someone else read them because it bores me for someone else to read a them. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? I'm Most sorry. Ammo. Did I just play a really shitty game of, uh, of the trade? Not Simon says. What's is it, Simon? Found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looks like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You need to find this guy and let him know the cold of the tree means business. All right, so if I find the radio tower, I'll find another lunchbox. All right, we have some, uh, we have some new things to put up here. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay. Oh, um, and then I have some other stuff for nursery rhymes. I figured out one of the nursery rhymes. We got a lot of the nursery rhymes, actually. What? Oh, okay. Hmm. Took care of all the clues. We are getting close to where I want to end the video. I just want to, I think I want to find something significant to end the video on. So we're going to keep going until I do something that is worthy of video enditure. Like a house. That seems pretty solid to end the video on. That's not it. All right, I need to find the key to open that. I wonder if the key might be over in the house. That would be convenient. Sorry, that would be key convenient. Uh, this is a safe place. That's good. I needed one. Oh, it's enter. Making me press enter for things is rude. One, two, three, four, five. Are these just target practice that they set up? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. So there's a crossbow in here, but I need to figure out the combination. We can do that. We can totally do that. I mean, there's numbers all over here. Oh, wait, I think I got it. So five is one, two arrows and two. So it's five, two, and then some, uh, five, two, and then seven, uh, five, two, seven. Got it. Easy. Easy, boys. If you aren't wearing the mask, this doesn't belong to you. That's a shame, isn't it? That's a darn shame. I don't even know if I want the crossbow, but like, I'll take a crossbow. Alright, let's go save the game. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, if you could like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can to help me rise up the YouTube algorithm. That way other people can find and enjoy my content. I would really appreciate it. And as always, guys, until next time, see ya.